ex inmates of Reddit what was the stupidest thing you've seen a new inmate do on his first day in prison. <laughs> Told a kid there was a pool out at yard. Guard saw him waiting to go out in shorts with his shower towel and asked him what he was doing. Kid said I'm gonna go swimming outside it looks nice. Don't think I've laughed so hard in my life, it's unoriginal but always funny. <laughs> Worked as a corrections officer, guy got busted for sexual assault of a minor, figured everyone else in the tank was on similar charges so began talking openly about it feeling he was safe. We had to subdue five guys who jumped him in the wreck yard. Guy was sent to the hospital as he was fairly unresponsive. He was sent to protective custody after that. Kid came in and I assume he has watched a lot of movies cause he figured he'd fight the biggest guy on the range. Lol. He wasn't even the toughest guy in the hospital he woke up in. Obligatory not me but I know a guy and his cellmate was a young 19 year old kid. The kid was confused and in the course of talking about their lives admitted he was bi. The guy the first note told him hey man that's cool but don't tell that to anyone else in here seriously. <laughs> tell literally everyone how he was going to escape and showed off all the tools he was using. This idiot walked right into a Mexican gang meeting and almost got beaten up. Source, and the idiot. Edit, I was in jail, not prison. My mistake. Again, I'm idiot. Second edit, since many people are asking. From what I understand, the difference between prison and jail is this. Jail is for sentences of less than a year, whereas prison is for sentences of over a year, varying from state to state. Jails is run by the city or county, prisons run by state or federal government. You can go to jail to await your trial before sentencing, then after be sent back to jail or to prison depending on how long and whether it's a felony or not. Prison is for felonies. When I first went in, this old white guy introduced himself and told this other white guy to look out for me. The other white dude came running from across the room, it was a big room, maybe 50 beds wide, grabbed my arm and pulled me out. He pushed me against the wall and said, dude, what the f are you thinking? You would have gotten your butt beat and sent to the hospital. I asked him, why? That's the rec room isn't it? He said, the Mexicans are holding a meeting right now. Dude ended up saving me three times during my incarceration of two days. Edit, guys, I don't mean imprisonment as a term for being in prison. I mean it is a term of being locked up. To clarify, I was in jail, not prison. If someone would like to correct me and give me the terminology for when someone is in jail, I'd appreciate it. Second edit, I didn't know the difference between jail and prison. But I now know I wasn't in prison. What's the difference? Third edit, incarceration instead of imprisonment. <laughs> Not shower. For weeks. He got his clothes ripped up and he was thrown half naked into the showers. They also tuned him up pretty good. Obviously not related to this guy, but I bunked next to a woman who refused a shower because she was pregnant. She was trying to become as unhealthy as possible in hopes that it would spur miscarriage. She would also jump off the top bunks onto her stomach. She didn't eat for the first few days and she literally slept all day every day. I felt bad for her, but she was putting my own health in danger. I cut off 10 inches of my hair before going in to avoid getting lice and I sure as hell wasn't going to let myself sleep next to someone who was going to attract bugs. If you have any sign of bugs, you go into isolation. I put in a request to move and made it very clear why. I told them that she was severely depressed and possibly suicidal. I told them that she was severely depressed and possibly suicidal. They let me move across the room to an open bunk but nothing happened with her. She should have been in the medical bay but they were too full.
Dude came in on drug charges. First thing he does upon walking into the pod is announce loudly enough that I could hear that he got drugs past the dipships in intake. Yeah, not the brightest bulb, that one. LOL. Kid gets booked in, hits the unit and starts borrowing food and other commissary items. Before he knew it he was $200 in the hole. Problem is, in jail and prison, most people who are willing to loan items out expect two or three of the same item back. Ya yeah, no, interest. Very easy way to get yourself indebted is by borrowing any food or other items. Never get in debt while incarcerated. Skinny kid hippie type got busted with some weed. Someone else on the range was getting beat up for something or other and the kid tried to intervene. Just said, hey, leave him alone. Got beat to within an inch of his life in the shower. Pro tip, in jail, mind your own business. I was still in intake in NSP. Nevada State Prison. A little dude came in touting AB stuff, Aryan Brotherhood. So an AB sent him on a mission to beat someone up. An old man. The old man beat his butt. I got to the yard, a black dude came into our unit barking at a white dude about money owed. I was the only black dude in the unit. Black dude looks at me and says, Osiris. We go, accept this shit. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. I raised up off my rack and said, I have to live here, dog, and laid my butt back down. Pro tip, in jail, mind your own business. Poop all over a suicide cell to make a point then stuck in there with their masterpiece. Merit really depends on the block you're in by how much you can get away with. But one time we had someone who got kicked out of another dorm for snitching on someone get placed in our dorm and immediately got his butt beat. And also fake claiming you're in a gang is a very quick way to get jumped. And also don't owe people money. One guy bragging about what he did to get himself in jail. Other dude showering barefoot. Great way to get convicted, great way to get uncle fungus. I did 14 years in federal prison for wire fraud. I got out last February. I'm 36. Some things I can say are these. While your sexuality may not be an issue outside of prison, inside prison, male inmates who are openly gay are generally disrespected. Gambling and drugs create debts that are at some point unable to be paid and can result in serious issues for yourself. Most prisons operate a social hierarchy based on gang affiliations or hometowns, although there can be large separations based on race. However, rapists and child molesters will basically be free game for anyone who wants to take the stuff or torment him. You might have been a bad outside of prison, but generally you can't fight several people at once, which is what would happen if you talk about how much of a badder you are. Keep your stuff to yourself and don't talk crazy to people, which is seen as disrespect. Respect disrespect has a different meaning in prison, and you'll figure it out. Best to just keep to yourself unless as much as possible unless you want to embrace prison life and become institutionalized. Prison is not a place to make friends. This may not have been his first day, but I will never forget this. This while I was in the intake tank which is the first tank or section you go into after being processed in county. This young kid comes into county and keeps complaining that he doesn't get his cannabinol and other marijuana-related prescriptions in jail. He was really arrogant and constant pissing everyone off. During count one day as we were all in our bunks he starts complaining again and then says to the guard what if we all riot immediately like ten other guys yell very loudly we don't know or agree with him. The guard then says what the f did you say? 
The kid then continues about rioting and that he has rights. Everyone in the tank effing stays like frozen in the bunk trying their best to be non-threatening and also show they have no interest in what this moron is saying. So the guard picks him up by his throat and slams him into the wall. After scaring the kid, he explains he has a new charge for inciting a riot. Kid gets hauled off to solitary. Never saw him again, but I heard he spent the rest of his 306090 whatever amount days in solitary. Absolutely insane to me that he'd say that in Oeving County Jail. No me. A close friend was locked up in jail but they kept moving him around. So for three days he didn't get a chance to shower. When they did finally put him in a prison it was too late to shower. First thing in the morning he was standing at the door of his shared cell waiting with a towel to go shower. He was first one in, stripped off and started scrubbing himself. He could sense the other inmates getting in the showers around him but realized no one was using the shower heads next to him. Plus there was a queue at the door. That's when he noticed he was the only one naked, everyone else kept the box a shorts on. He kind just muttered sorry chaps and got out ASAP. A new guy was in his 50s and had developed addiction problems later in life. He somehow thought that his age afforded him control of the remote for the only TV on the range. The ten inmates that rushed his cell, kicked the living shit out of him and threw him down the stairs felt otherwise. <laughs>